Hey guys, welcome back to the Baby God Diaries. I am your host, Internet Channel. And yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Before I start, I just want to say rest in peace to Queen Elizabeth II. Um, she was an amazing queen. And yeah, it's not going to be the same without her anymore. And but anyway, let's get into today's video. So, no video, what am I talking about? <laughs> anyway, let's get into it for today. So... Um, I have this book that I've been reading, and it's called Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry, and the author is the lovely Joanne Coffney, and yeah, <laughs> like, it's a good book, um, Basically, little context at the back. Um, she's black. She's eighteen. She is a vegetarian. She's a chronic list maker. I actually don't know what that is. Like, hold on a minute. I'ma Google this real quick. I don't know. I'ma do it later. Anyway, I can't be bothered. Um. So, yeah, I'ma do it later. As well saying um excuse me while i ugly cry the lovely author um she in the book it's a sweet romantic debut that celebrates the joy of being your own authentic self um yeah so anyway she's black I need to find out what a chronic list maker is. But she, the girl is crushing on Carter Bennett, which is the guy. She's socially awkward, living a lie. Basically, she lied to her, to her parents, saying that she got into Columbia University. But really, she didn't. She lied about the whole thing. And um, she is lost with her journal. And she's being blackmailed by this random person. She has got a clue who it is. And yeah she's about to face the truth basically somebody steals her journal and she has like the craziest things in there like the fact that actually i haven't finished reading this book but i'm almost done i've got like six chapters left so bear with me she um yeah lying to her parents and family and friends and everybody so when we get deep into the book right i'm just flipping through the pages because i literally forgot most of the stuff i just realized like i like the cover of the book it's like so colorful and like the guy and the girl is displayed the moment i saw that they were black i was like grab that book <laughs> But yeah, I'm kind of having to flip through the pages because I kind of forgot the most important key things in there. But there's so many chapters in here. Chapter one is about the day she, the days I've lost my list journal. So chapter one is basically when she realizes she lost her journal. Okay. Um. And so in chapter one. Uh, you, she lo she loses the journal, right? And then, I'm trying to position this. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> this is chaotic. Anyway, the struggles I go through, honestly. Um, behind the scenes, you're never gonna know. <laughs> so, basically, um, as I was saying, she loses the journal. And then, after that, a lot of things happen. And she's like, oh, Carter is cool. So, basically, in this genre, she... <clears throat> what is on my throat? She lists, like, what Carter is. Well, who Carter is. Obviously, we know it's the guy. He's this cute guy, whatever she likes, whatever, in this new school. 
and she's like he's cool in every respect of the world he is attractive as hell and so the school is a predominantly white private school and and she basically is like i've never anybody call me a real black girl any um before basically in her own words she's like i bet he never has to deal with white people making black jokes around him must be nice <laughs> must be nice um anyway she oh my gosh my voice is doing the most today anyway <laughs> anyway so i literally cannot read <laughs> a back of the classroom forehead um perpetually i i don't know how to pronounce this glued to his desk kind of student really as to his most i don't even know what i just said but he never shares his his thoughts and suddenly he starts speaking to her so now she's like shocked like all of a sudden you're talking to me and she thinks he stole the journal Apparently, they swap the journal and then Carter gets home. He realizes, well, hold on a minute. This is not mine. Oh, the girl's name is Queen, by the way. Queen is the girl. Carter is the guy. So, she realizes she's got Carter's journal. In Carter's journal, there isn't much in there. She literally has her deepest life secrets in there. And she needs to find this journal. Your girl is on a mission. <laughs> She's on a mission to find this journal. She's got too much stuff in there. She cannot lose it like that. And yeah, so in the book, the fifth point, she's like not materialistic like the other boys at school. He couldn't care less about anything. And she's like, I consider myself pretty low maintenance. She claims to say that, which I know is a lie. <laughs> Number six, she's conscientious of how he smells. I can smell him from here, girl. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, oh, Lord. Anyway. <laughs> Abnation's curtains. I don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> Carter simply smells clean. That is some different stuff right there. He simply smells clean. He just smells clean. Like a normal clean person. And like some guys nowadays just want like weed and disappointment. Anyway, child, excuse my language. <laughs> Ooh. Um, he is unwilling to date girls from the school, which is quite disheartening. Although Queen is literally in the school anyway. A player she's had rumors about him saying that he's a player and all that and emily hayes is getting busy at a party last year basically she got caught doing some weird stuff but it's just a rumor child nobody knows if it's true or not um he's kind of anti-social he never he doesn't really hang around with um people like that anyway so carter he doesn't typically hang around like all the white kids at school which means he doesn't have many friends and she's like i only see him talk or speak to olivia thomas every time i see them laughing together i wish i had friends too so basically this is like what she has in her, in her journal about him um I don't even know why he's called Carter. Honestly, not trying to sound weird, but Carter is just, it doesn't suit his personality. You understand why later on. I'm like, baby girl, what's going on? Anyway, that's besides the point. His name is Carter or whatever. Um, so, who? Anyway, so his name is Carter, and he, in the contents page, we have the days i've lost my list journal things i would have never admit out loud 
to do before I graduate. Places I imagine my journal might be. Five things people believe about me. If I could change one thing about today. How to stop the case of the missing journal. If Carter has my journal, he knows what I know about my mother. Ten um, rules Olivia Thomas breaks on a daily basis. Um, days. Um, my blackness has been on trial. How to make new friends. What I know about my father. Reasons I wish I'd have been friends with um Suna. Taking tequila shorts is easy when you're already drunk. The worst things about being human, things I would never ever done if I had my journal. Reasons I reasons I don't sleep at night. How it feels to kiss Carter. How to lead a smear campaign. How to trip a bully. If Carter read my journal. Reasons I cannot look at you. Manifestations of hater's essence. Pros and cons of having a loyal mom. All the times I broke your trust. Reasons why I can't bring myself to write another list. If Carter hadn't lost my journal. And yeah. And those are the things she's got in the journal. So... That's all the chapters. Basically, this book is part of the hot key books. And basically... Why? Okay, anyway. Basically, hot key books, they have this thing at the back of the books where they say... They kind of give you a rough idea of what to expect in the book. And it's got like what's inside the book what's in it in this weird circle thing and this one is secrets blackmail courage and romance all you have to do is read it to find out oh my god it's been like 14 minutes already progress is being made (laughs) i always aim to make my episodes as long as possible period per to the per per let me stop (laughs) um so i was saying that where was i days i've lost my list journal see i like anyway why have i just i'm literally losing like control i don't even know where i am now um okay so as i was saying Basically, Carter, right? Basically, Queen um, is like, Carter is a judgmental ASS, you know the rest. A holier than thou pretentious bastard, not as great as he looks. I wish I never got a peek into his ugly thoughts. I'm like, girl, like, okay, who hurt you? Oh my gosh, she's me. I'm just flipping through the pages. Oh yeah, one of the things she says she would never admit out loud is the fact that she... Well, okay, basically, one thing is my dad told me when Grandma hates me dies, she's leaving a, a, she's leaving me a sizable inheritance. I actually allowed myself to wonder how much longer it would be before she dies. I didn't get a 34 on my ACT. I got a 24. And my acceptance letter to Columbia was fake. I created on Microsoft Word. I never wanted to go to Columbia. That was my parents' dream, not mine. I am in love with Matthew Hurd. I was there when Olivia Thomas photographs got vandalized. I drove the gateway car. I used to embrace being called an Oreo black on the outside and dark and white on the inside. These are one of the secrets 
one of the really crazy things she's got in her journal now this is why she never never ever never ever ever have a diary just don't do it because somebody's gonna find it you really think you're gonna have a diary and nobody's gonna read it eventually somebody will find it and you're gonna get in trouble so just don't do it just don't (laughs) um and basically after this carter texts her and it's like hey i have your journal i think you might have mine question mark it looks like yours and it looks like yours and it looks extremely personal so please don't flip through it just look for my name and look yeah look for my name at the back at the back of the journal and one of the things i'm gonna expose this girl (laughs) one of the things in the book is if i could kiss anyone this is by her words by queen um the girl um she she would it would be a list of people matthew red uh, michael b jordan child i'm sick and tired of this michael b jordan kid like he's he's just not cute i don't see it nobody sees it i don't see it i really don't see it like I actually don't find him attractive at all. He's just Michael B. Jordan. There's nothing special about it. Maybe I have two different eyes. That's probably why I have glasses. I'm blind. <laughs> um, <laughs> Matthew Red, number one. Number two, Michael B. Jordan. Number three, Bryson Tiller. You know what? I feel you for that one. I absolutely agree. Bryson Tiller. Your girl has had a crush on Bryson Tiller. Until I found out he's got a baby mama and a child. I'm like, no, no, no. Child, like, no, like, mm -mm, no. Zane, number three, Zane Malik. Number four, Diggy Simmons. Number five, Quincy. Number six, Ryan Reynolds. Number seven, Noah Sentinel. That sounds like a nice, nice name. I like that last name. That would sound good with my last name. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, last but not least, Carter Bennett. Carter Bennett. Quinn Bennett. Hmm. Kind of sounds good together. I don't know, chat. Um, one of the movies she would watch is... One of the movies she would, like, re-watch all over again is um, number one. Love and Basketball, number two, ATL, number three, This Christmas, number four, Identity Thief, Theft, I don't know, Thief, excuse me, child, number five, Deadpool, number six, Friday, number seven, Ghost Trip, oh my god, Ghost Trip is like the that, like, I love Ghost Trip, anyway, but Girls Trip was such a good movie. Like, I am not even joking. I would definitely rewatch that over and over again. Tiffany Haddish, Jada Pekin Smith. Who else was there? I actually forgot. I don't know. There was this other woman from this movie called Taxi from ages ago, like early 2000. She was in the Taxi movie, okay? Like, um,. And then who else was in there? I need to find out. I'm a bit like, I'll find out. Let's carry on. Black Panther. Love Simon. No, Love Simon, Lord. (laughs) Jesus Christ, girl. (laughs) Let's carry on. (laughs) Anyway. And Little. That's the last one. So, yeah. What else is in here? I'm just flipping through the pages. I'm just trying to spill the tea, spill the beans. Um, I'm not going to go too much into detail because, obviously, I want you guys to read it if you are interested. And the things she wants to do before she wants... No, before she graduates um, includes... <laughs> okay, hold on. So, one of the things she wants to do before she graduates is, um, number one, 
visit the two universities she got accepted into. I admit my love to Matthew Red. Um, told my parents I didn't get into Colombia. Visit Grandma Haiti. Tell Destiny. Destiny is a friend, by the way. The real reason why I ghosted her. The reason why she ghosted her is because Queen, she, say for last, you know what you have to do. What you have to do. That doesn't make sense. So anyway. Ooh, oh my God. I almost opened. I literally almost ruined the page. Anyway, so it's worth saying. Let me carry on. Next thing is. The places I imagine my journal might be. Number one. The bus. The bus. And number two. We have the bus. Actually, hold on. She's like the bus seat where Carter sat. The bus terminal will find it. After reading the journal, Carter will probably fall in love with me or whoever the guy is. <laughs> anyway, um, the coffee shop where the hot cottage guy is ordering a toy soy double shot vanilla latte with caramel drizzle because he read my list of favorite coffee combos. Carter's backpack because he's the devil and he must have seen my journal. Um, and yeah <laughs> anyway so they were texting and then she he was like i have your journal um no actually somebody somebody's like mailing her right now and she hasn't got a clue who it is and they're basically like let's just give them a name like the devil and then they're like i have your journal and then she's like, can I get it back, please? Where can we meet? And then they're like, not just yet. I have a condition first. And then she's like, who's this? And what do you want? And then she's like, give me back my journal, you little whatever, you know. And then she's like, you think I don't know it's you, Carter? And then basically the devil... um, The blackmailer, obviously. Let's just call him the devil, like I said before. So the devil is like, oh, complete this list or your journal is going to go public. And then she's like, do it. I dare you. I will destroy you. I'm like, okay, girl. Cool. <laughs> um, And next chapter is five lies people believe about me. Obviously, we already know that. Number one, she's like, cool. With white friends saying the N word around me, but she's not gonna wear. Number two, I ghosted Destiny because Martha Red flattered with her. I going to call Columbia University because of my parents. It was easier to drop Destiny uh, because it was easier to get into Columbia. Your girl has been lying. She lied about the whole thing. Like anyway, let me carry on. Um, and then the texting again, and then she's like, if you go to the principal again, I'll send the list to your parents, the, the devil. And I'm just like, you need to chill out. Like he needs to chill out. Like seriously, this gets juicy trail. This is only like one bug. Oh my God. I might have to do a part two to this because this is going to take a while. There's so much detail into this. There's so many pages. I cannot literally say anything, like everything in one episode. So, um, basically, the devil posts everything on social media and exposes her. And she's like, Gia, one of her friends is like, so this B didn't even get into Colombia. That's hilarious. This is like the comment section, basically, after it got posted. And she's like, I should probably stop sing along to drag fonte and the baby and literally every rapper what makes you so special why do i have to 
like think twice about what I say within like the songs that rappers used just because Queen is black. You know, like the N-word and all that. <sighs> just imagine, like... I feel like the girl is just not a good friend. Like, how could she even say that? She wasn't really her friend in the first place. Uh, but, um, yeah, it's just, it's a mess. It's a, it's a lot going on. It's just chaotic. It's all over the place. The poor girl. Like, next time, just don't write a journal. Anyway, the devil is like he or she, I don't know. And they're like, if you if you don't do something on the to-do list by midday tomorrow, I will post another list on social media and it's going to go public. And the devil is basically enjoying it. He's really getting into it. Um, he is evil, obviously. Duh. Um, so I'm going to do this into two parts because I don't think... I'll be able to put everything into one. So actually, you know, let me see what I can do. Um, You know what? I think, you know what? Let's actually move on to part two in this. Might as well get into it. So basically, the next few minutes I'll be talking about in her journal. She's like, if I could change one thing about today from least desire to most. So she's like, number one. Um, I'm going to say at least five things, something, um, that I wore this uselessly extravagant dress and this painful shoes. I wish I could change them. I skipped so many classes that I let Destiny and Gia keep me from getting my journal before the first period that I didn't pull Bumbo at Carter. Um with all the information i have anyway what am i saying <laughs> okay anyway let's basically just move on to part two so let's go okay we are back officially for oh my gosh there is some random kid screaming outside like what are you why are you screaming like don't do that right now why is you screaming child anyways so this is part two of excuse me while i ugly cry yeah <gasps> oh my gosh i thought i removed the bookmark thing i was like don't tell me i just removed it because now i have to go back without this bookmark i basically cannot go back to where i was anyway this is literally off topic but anyway let's carry on so where was i excuse me while i ugly cry is the book um, we are back for part two, and where was I? So, last time, um, anyway, let's carry on. So, I'm just flipping through the pages of the part, um, of where I left off from last time. Because I closed the pages, and I have to go back. I'm trying to get as much information as possible from this, so bear with me. Um, I need to stop saying, um, oh my gosh. Anyway, you probably guys are annoyed with me now. But, um, okay. So, I'm just looking at the page now. And so, yeah, basically, Queen is, like, panicking. She's like, I need to find this journal now, like, ASAP. Because I don't want to get exposed anymore. And. So. Basically. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Like. It's just a mess. It's chaotic. It's great. Amazing. And everything in between. So I kind of have to think carefully into each chapter. To like pick the key information um so um right okay so the case of the missing journal we have the okay so seven things that are always moving around dead closet Number one, the silver wrist watch my father gave him. 
um, the cap to his favorite Kogo, the one my mother gave him for that anniversary three years ago, his white sneakers, his endless supply of scrubs, me and mom. So, yeah, that's it. What else do we have in here? Um, so, okay. 10 rules Olivia Thomas breaks daily. We, oh, excuse me. Uh, we have, she's a mixed race girl, but according to her old friends, she acts blacker than her. She has a, a beautiful mixed race girl curled, um, curls. She wears a silver hope through her septum during school hours. Studs up her ears and her belly button ring. Blatantly exposed by her endless supply of crop tops. She has tattoos on her arms since she was 16. And she calls teachers by her first name. But their first name. She's gotten to several frights for over the past four years all the white guys claimed that they were racist to her no she claimed that they were racist to her um she's not bothered by the fact that she's on scholarship and she doesn't care she's open and chatty about literally everything that people don't really need to know since I haven't said more than two words to the girl, all her friends are boys, but honestly, that might be a result of the smear campaign. So yeah, that's just... Why is my leg twitching? Like, my inner thigh is twitching. Oh my god, it's vibrating. Oh my god. That was a good, like, 50 seconds. Anyway. No, actually, I'm exaggerating. It wasn't. Anyway, per <laughs> Um... What else is in here? The way I just literally... I'm sorry, guys. This episode is a bit all over the place. Like, it's chaotic. Like, bear with me. But... So, seven times, Carter gives me that he looks during the tour. This is when they go to the tour thing at one of the universities to... I'm so lazy to say this. I can't be bothered. I actually can't be bothered. If you really want to see this, please go and read the book. Please. It's amazing. Actually, I'll link it in the show notes below so you can check it out. What else is on here? Um, There's so much information. Like, flip through the pages. (laughs) Okay, so... Hold on. Did you hear? Oh my gosh. Anyway, I've been hearing some weird sounds. What else do I have in here? Literally, the struggle is real. Like, I'm not trying to miss anything. I'm trying to get every single detail from what I've read so far. So please bear with me. This is, um, okay. And on the list, she's like, how it feels how it feels to kiss Carter. That's what I said last time for the last episode. Um, Sorry, for the past few minutes. These are Queen's words. Everything in me is rushing through my list to get a taste of him. Like swimming in the ocean when the water is trying to get into you. Wanting it to succeed better than rushing fingertips and bumping elbows and oh all that kind of stuff anyway it doesn't matter if it's all a game because i might be winning if i get to kiss him i hope this isn't just a game to him because what did she just say hold on anyway carter i don't know i got a bad feeling about him he's giving me bad vibes i feel like he's up to no good like like, get out of your feelings, girl, and get in your bag. Um, Leave the guy. <laughs> leave the man, okay? Leave the man. Um, so, yeah. 
so yeah the book is amazing it's great you should check it out um the cover of the book is amazing it's so cute it's like green and yellow and like blue it's actually like great but yeah guys so yeah that's all for today uh we're gonna end it here um i will see you all guys in the next episode oh and i have linked the book in the show notes below so check it out you can buy it on apple books or kindle app amazon whatever um if you're scared you're not gonna like the book you can just get a sample of it so you can read like the first few pages and then see whether it's your cup of tea or not but yeah thank you guys see you all in the next episode and oh yeah there won't be a part two anymore because basically this was the part two so until maybe like part three for next time once i finish the book but yeah that's literally it so thank you toodles goodbye